First to get something going to carry a little momentum into the locker room at half. Oh, Walker. And today in Washington, Irving raising up. Oh, a little bit of jelly is open. Here come the Grizzlies. Morant veering. Oh, my goodness, what a finish. It's been great. Here's Bones Highland in transition. The rookie, oh, with some jelly. Ball eventually grabbed by Brown, but stolen by Garland. Garland to the basket. Reverse. Oh! <laughs> Middleton, gorgeous reverse as Murray swipes this one. McDermott, oh, no. not open. Curry trying to create the space against the bonus underneath. Worth essentially with Wiggins and Cat into the lane here. Oh, oh my goodness! The mentality of a surrendering team. Oh, what a shot by the score! What a quarter! Jazz fell down by eleven. I just shot my shot at this little dot. I'm trying to crack that neck on her big neck. My nigga trying to crack. What's up, YouTube? It's Drew, and I'm back in a video covered a big body banger 20. Three video now. First things first, make sure like, comment, and subscribe. We're gonna roll the seven can on saying today I am the Bill Dilla on your local corner, and I'm coming at y'all with this maxed out slashing point guard 2k23 Bill video, yes, sir. Not only is this just a max out slashing, but it also has pretty high playmaking as well and the ability to shoot. But I did want to make a maxed out slashing based point guard build. I know before I made like a contact dunk type of build but this is like max slash and i believe 99 driving layup things like that you know so i did my thing on this build and i really do want to see how y'all feel about it if y'all think it is a viable build and you could actually use it seriously and if not also let me know you know i appreciate all feedback and criticism as you know i'm very receptive to it i always reply to y'all but i appreciate y'all and everything that y'all do for me i just need to let y'all know that as always you know but without further ado do let's get right into the attributes that i use for this max finishing slashing playmaking 2k23 point guard build video so as you see he's right handed point guard number four i made him six foot three 190 pounds with a seven foot wingspan and a defined body shape you know these are all the best body settings that i thought would be for this build you know pretty long wingspan a decent height decent weight you know things like that and defined because you know you gotta be looking muscular out here now for your finishing you want to put your close shot all the way up to an 86 your driving leap all the way up to a 99 so you want to max it out as i said your driving dunk up to a 93 or is it 90 my bad 95 so you want to max that out as well then for your pulse control you also want to max it out all the way down then for your shooting you want a 83 point shot a 66 mid range and a 60 free throw for your playmaking you want to put your pass actually up to a 70 you want to put your ball handling up to an 87 to get you gold clamp breaker and then you want to put your speed with ball up to an 85 for your defense Defense rebounding. You want a 60 interior defense and 86 perimeter defense, which will give you access to silver um, clamps. And then you want a 60 defensive rebound. For your physicals, you want to put your speed to an 80. You want your acceleration at an 85. Strength 49, vertical 85, and then your stamina at a 95. And this is pretty much the build, man. Like, comment, subscribe if you are new. As you see, you have three categories in the finishing department that are completely maxed out with an 86 close shot. So there's not, you know, like you're gonna be pretty dominant in the paint. Now you see I go, I got locked down, playmaking, sharp shooting, and slashing takeovers, but I go with easy blow and limitless reigns for my takeover selection you know clearly allowing me to shoot and finish and you see in the shades of i get De'Aaron fox jamal murray and ja moran i think these are some pretty good shades of to be you see as an inside out shot creator one of those unique names once again this is definitely a pretty interesting and unique build to make in my opinion you know it's a slashing playmaker with the ability to shoot you know what more can you ask for and then it also has the ability to defend you know 86 perimeter defense is no joke at all
now as for the bash bread it's already a pretty balanced bash bread if you ask me but if it were up to me i would honestly add either all of the extra four toward uh, your defense just so you can have access to the tier three defensive badges but if you don't care about having uh bronze clamps if you really don't care about it then i would then just recommend putting all four toward finishing but you know i would probably put it toward defense because i do care a lot about defense but it's, it's up to you at the end of the day but this build was crazy for one marcus smart flagrant fouled the crap out of me like bro was on my shoulders you will see it it was ridiculous i had him behind me i hit him with an in and out and then bro just decided to hop on my back and take a ride it was really crazy but other than that you know this build was going crazy for one it's very quick very nimble very agile and obviously his three-point shooting ability is nothing to scoff at but what's really the icing on the cake is his finishing you know that 99 driving layup you you feel it like you really do feel it when you go and take layups especially like contested layups you have a higher conversion rate and you know it just makes a lot more sense to take those sort of shots on this build you see right there the spin layup you know over rob williams who blocks everything in this game if you haven't played against the celtics just know like this is the flagrant foul right here it was so crazy the in and out had him lost and bro just hopped on my back but if you haven't played uh against the celtics in 2k on like hall of fame difficulty even like pro all-star you should try it and see how it is just have fun with it just see exactly how rob williams just kind of sits in the paint and waits for you to come and blocks your shot but this is one of those builds where it was just like very smooth very easy to go down the paint very easy to go down the lane and do what you need to do you know very easy to get to the bucket and then hit you with a layup hit you with a dunk contact dunk you know everything about it is just very driving oriented you know like i said there's not many weaknesses the only weakness is that it's height i guess but you make up for it with your 60 interior defense and 86 perimeter defense and you also uh, make up for not having mid-range shooting by having an 83 point shot so you don't really necessarily need your mid-range shooting and if you really want you can equip boost which will essentially bring your mid-range shooting up to a 70 and the low 70 ratings so you will be able to shoot those middies but at the end of the day it is up to you you know how you want to spread out the attributes on this build but this is my creation of this type of build so let me know what y'all think about it but that's pretty much the end of the video y'all make sure like comment subscribe we're gonna roll to 7k you know what i'm saying comment down below any bullets y'all want and i'll eventually get to them and until then i'm out and also i'm ready for 224 i know y'all ready too peace